Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to the space game Breath Edge. I've been spending quite a bit of time in this lately. Uh, and you can see I've here I've got my grandfather's drill. I'm out prospecting and getting aluminium. Now, the durability of this drill is dropping quite considerably, given in mind it's a drill. So there is a possibility that you're going to have to build another one. I don't know. It's strange, isn't it? Well, mining that asteroid has enabled me to get some aluminium. Um, you can also get ice there as well. And then you can also use the handy grabber to get alkali, should you have a handy grabber. Now, I'm using the scraper or scrapper or whatever it is to go and give that cargo crate what for. Because I quite fancy what's in it, to be honest with you. Don't know what's in it, but I had the foresight to turn around and build several of those so I can pick up all the swag that's inside it, in which case it is salty snacks and food. Okay, let's get on back to the shuttle. We've got some things to do. We've got a few things to go and get. We need to get some lead paint um, as well, so we can build the enhanced spacesuit. We need to get some glass. All these things we're gonna have a look at, but primarily this video is about getting lead paint. Where do you find lead paint? How do you go and get it? What's the equipment you need to get lead paint and the like? So, do me a favor, if you haven't already done so, click that like and subscribe button. And also look for the notification icon as that'll let you know when I'm putting more videos such as this on YouTube. Now I really do like this game, Breath Edge. I mean, it's from a Russian developer and it's great. It's really refreshing, it's nice. You know, I mean, there's a little bit of crafting involved as well, but mostly it's about it is resource management and a little bit of exploration. This is only episode one, Lost in Space, they're calling it, um, which, which is great. How many episodes to come? Is it going to be chargeable? Who knows? Who knows? So I'm making my way over to an area of space. I can just get over there with my um, 75 second oxygen tank without using any other items. You can see it. Um, it's a, a shuttle. Lots of what looks like paint or blood or whatever it is coming out of it. This is where I use the smuggler's eye. Now the smuggler's eye you can find on a corpse quite close by. It's hanging out. Pick it up and that'll allow you to retina scan and open that little casket. Inside you're going to get lead paint. One. And you're going to be able to get two lots of rubber. But as soon as you get that, it's time to hightail it back, all the way back to the shuttle, um, and take account of, of what you've actually got. Now, with, with having lead paint found there, you can then construct more. But the question is, where do you find lead? And then, where do you find paint? And as a result of this, you're going to need to have some additional equipment, like an oxygen generator. Now, we found the oxygen generator back in previous videos by using the scanner, getting through the door. Got the oxygen scanner. We had the blueprint for that. Oh, that's fantastic. As you can see, for the splay suit items, I need glass. I need um, more lead paint. I've got to go searching. But this oxygen station is exactly what I need. I need an oxygen candle to complete that. Now I have some of those knocking about, but I can also build them with metal and a battery. So I've got metal up in my storage container and I've got batteries. So I'm pretty much made up. Let's use the crafting. There it is, that's what I need. Into equipment, into items, oxygen candle, we'll have one of those. That's great. And there's my oxygen station. Absolutely fantastic. Just what I need. Now, this is gonna enable me to place it and it'll give me a recharge of 500 oxygen. And I've also got some recharge canisters for this as well uh, that I can use to recharge the station should I need it. But so far, from what I've seen by using these sort of things, you should be, it's, it's a one-shot wonder. So I'm gonna go ahead, um, do some storage management. I need to make some more batteries as well. I need to make some more oxygen candles so that when I get over to the area that's got the lead paint, I'm not gonna be caught short. 
And let's face it, no one wants to be caught short, especially not in this game. Given the fact that there is a, a wide amount of toilets around, an unusual amount of toilets in this game. So, okay, I've got water. Uh, I need to drink some of that, actually. I'm going to move some stuff over that we don't need. Um, these shawaras. Move some rubber over. Time to get cracking. At least get all the way over there and place the oxygen. That's what I want to do. Now I'm starting to stock up as well on oxygen candles. I'm going to need an extended oxygen range. I've got my oxygen um, generator, which I'm going to need as well. Time to get out into space. Again, like I said, I don't want to be caught short when I get out there. I'm using the extra added thrust of the accelerator to get over there. And I can try and get as far over to that one particular area. You can see some sort of liquid or mass spewing out. I'm going to try and get as far over there as I possibly can. Um, and then I'm going to deploy my oxygen generator. And then I'm going to use the oxygen candles to search around should I get caught short. So it's a bit slow and arduous waiting for this to recharge. Hopefully in future iterations of the game there'll be ways to increase the speed that you can travel with additional, additional components you can find. But who knows? On Steam, everyone, the popularity of this game is quite good. Um, it's all over YouTube, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And that's where I saw it. So we're coming down to the fact now where my oxygen is running down. Again, it's about, you know, 10. Time to deploy the oxygen station because I've got to be able to get back as well. So let's deploy it. You are installed. Press the button to recharge my oxygen. There we go. And you can see it de the charge decreasing. Right, I'm full up. Time to get in there. Boosting away up to 20 meters per second. And here we are inside. Now, there are tank-like structures in the middle of this wreckage. Well, that's where you can get some paint. You're also going to see some paint floating around in space. I picked up everything I could with the oxygen that I had at the time, burning through those oxygen candles. You can see big chunks of lead there. But here, if I can just get in front of it, drill that with your drill, and you're going to be awarded some paint. Now the durability of my drill is failing, not to worry. We'll have enough. And of course, like I said, you can find some paint just floating around as well. Now, here's the key thing not to forget, lead. There's little bits of lead floating around. You haven't really got to go attacking the big balls. You can if you want to, if you've got a scrapper or scraper, or whatever we're going to be calling it. But I found this to be invaluable. Now I have to go back and recharge my my air before I go back in and pick up any more items. But that's effectively it. That's where you find paint, and that's where you find lead. Once you've gone and you've got the lead paint from that one box that we used the retina scan for earlier on in the video, you're then able to take the lead and the paint back to your shuttle and make some more. It's as easy as that. No dramas. And then you've got lead paint. And then the hunt for glass will continue. But that will be the subject of another video. So I'm recharging my air now. Just going to pop back in. Since i got some oxygen candles as well ready to use. I'm going to pop back in, have a good quick look around, see what if I can pick up anything else up, because, you know, I don't want to get back, like, you know, and think, oh, I've got to go all the way back out again. You've got to craft more oxygen candles. And it's a right old pain in the backside. So there you can see I've 
locked onto some lead and some lead floating around. No need to go bashing anything, but that's about as much lead as I'm going to need, really, to make lead paint. I mean, I can break that and I'll get finished with two or three. It's already telling me my oxygen is running out. The constant nagging. Picking up some metal on the way. Always need metal. Time for a look around. And there's some paint just floating around. Whether that or not that came out of the tank when I drilled it, because it's all these items spew forth in space, I don't know. But now it's time to get all the way back to my oxygen tank, refuel, and get back to the shuttle. So we're not going to bore everyone with that. Here I am. I'm back at the shuttle. I've got all my lead. I've got me paint. I'm just about to run out of air, and I am back. Um, incurred a little bit of damage, but not to worry. Let's have a look at this. Into resources, composite resources, lead paint. And there it is. Paint, lead, lead paint. And that's how you find and make lead paint on Breath Edge, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Ricardo. This has been Breath Edge. How to make lead paint from paint and lead. Where to find paint and lead and the original bit of lead paint as well. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And check back for more videos in the series. Can't wait for more updates from the Breath Edge team.